Today we'll be learning about urinary bladder and for that learning process I will be using a human plastinated model. And for, before going to the details, first I like to give you an orientation that how we can understand the location of this plastinated model. So there you are looking at the anterior superior iliac spine, you are looking at the iliac crest and this is the inguinal ligament, we are looking from the front. This is the pubic tubercle and this is the front of the thigh and this is the pelvis region. The pal and this is the iliacus muscle and this is the sauce major muscle. Now we are looking in the same model from a side and there you are looking at this is a sagittal view and there if I start from the back you are looking at the sacrum and then these are the muscles who makes my pelvic floor and then we can see that this is the rectum this tubular structure which is coming down and becoming the anus this is the rectum and then this is the uterus because this is a female model and then this is the urinary bladder and then this is the pubic symphysis and there you, are, you can see that this is the sauce major muscle and there you are seeing the different other structures now we have to highlight and focus so for that we can we need to zoom in we were talking about the urinary bladder you can see that it's muscular wall completely the cavity of the urinary bladder and then you can see that this is the urethra as this is a female model so female urethra has been shown like that it is a short urethra and then behind it we, we talk about it this is the vagina you can see the vagina full length the fornices the cervix and the uterus which has been shown here and most posterior structure was the rectum which becomes the anal canal and then in front you can see that pubic symphysis and there we can see that there's a space in between and then the, the space between the bladder and the uterus we call it vesico uterine pouch and between the uterus and the rectum is pouch of Douglas or recto uterine pouch.